Hey guys, this is Jesse, and this is an indie making. And today we're going to be reviewing the Rocket on 8mm T3.8 Cinema Fisheye Lens. So let's look at the specs of this lens. As I mentioned before, it is a T3.8 opening, which is almost the same as the um, f stop in a photographic lens. It has a D clicked aperture, which results in a very smooth moving ring. Uh, it's a 180 angle view. Next, it is manual only. It has no autofocus. In fact, it has no electronics inside the lens itself. Therefore, when you put it onto the camera, the camera doesn't even know there's a lens in it. And finally, the aperture and focus ring have teeth in them. And they're there for in case you want to add a follow focus to this lens. Next comes build quality. This lens is greatly built. I believe the body is made out of aluminum. Uh, very few plastic parts. As you can see, the bottom of the lens is metal, which is amazing. And as mentioned before, the aperture ring in this lens is so, so, so smooth. It definitely has to be one of the smoothest rings in any of my lenses. And the focus ring itself is also very smooth. There's no complaints there. And finally, the hood of this lens also comes off. Now, I haven't had this lens for a very long time, but I have taken it out for a couple of test runs, and this is what I got. Now, as you can see from this clip, this lens has a lot of distortion, which I absolutely love. Now, it is possible to get images without distortion with this lens. All you really have to do is just don't have any objects too close to the lens itself and uh, just be really, really still if you're taking video um, or better yet, just have it locked in the tripod. And finally, this lens is so wide that I would recommend leaving your lens hood on. Um, when you take it off, it is more likely you're going to get your fingers in the frame uh, when you're adjusting the uh, focus or the aperture, but with the hood on, uh, it is less likely and it will help hide your fingers as you're moving the lens around. All right, so let's look at the sharpness of this lens now. Uh, to do this, I took three pictures of the same object. I apologize for two of them being overexposed. Uh, this is something that I will talk about near the end of the video about this lens. All right, so the first picture was taken at all the way open, uh, 3.8. The second picture, 5.6, and the last one was 11. All right, so of course, like any other lens, all the way open, it always tends to be a little fuzzy, uh, a lot of ghosting around, not very sharp. The second picture of 5.6 is slightly better, but we still see some of that ghosting. I mean, some of it has to do with the fact that it's overexposed, but it's still there, and it's, uh, it's slightly sharper from, from 3.6. But in the last picture of a T-Sub of 11, it seems to be way sharper, not a lot of ghosting, but of course this image was properly exposed. Um, and the, the image is really, really, really good. Alright, so now let's get into the cons of this lens. Uh, in the time that I've had it, um, I only found two cons really. Uh, first one is that uh, focusing with this lens to the viewfinder is really hard. Um, you're going to have to use the back of your camera screen and punch in to be able to properly uh, focus on your object. And the second one will be probably exposing with this lens at a low T-stop if it's really sunny outside. As you can tell with the pictures that I showed you, uh, there's no way of adding an ND filter in this lens. So, yeah. But overall, this lens is, is just great. It's, it's amazing. I mean, the, the pros are way better than the cons. First pro for me, uh, the price. Uh, this lens new goes for 260 to 170 depending where you get it at. But of course, I bought a used from eBay for 170 Whereas the Canon version, uh, but it, that one's an 8mm to 15mm fisheye lens, goes for $1,249. Uh, Rocking on wins this one, for me at least. Second is a cinema lens. I can add a follow focus if I wanted to. Of course, the lens is very wide. I'm not sure if it would hide the follow focus. Uh, but if it, if it does hide it, I, I'll use it. Sure, why not, right? And finally, the build quality for me is just amazing. Uh, it has an aluminum body, a metal base, the rings are really smooth, both the focus and the aperture rings, and then as a working body, it produces really nice images. So is it worth the money? Yes, yes it is. If you're looking to get into a more creative aspect of photography, videography, definitely get this lens. It's amazing. You will love it. I guarantee it. So before I leave, I just want to say thank you to all of my subscribers. Uh, we're about to reach a year since I opened up this channel. I apologize for the lack of videos. I've just been very busy, school, whatever, whatever, whatever. Not gonna get into details, but I just wanna say thank you. And yeah, I mean, hopefully this upcoming year I'll be able to upload more videos, be able to get more stuff, be able to review it, and so forth. And one last thing, of course, make sure to check out the trailer for my upcoming short film. Well, it's been released already. It's been premiering in a couple of festivals, but it's soon dropping online. Uh, if you haven't seen the trailer for that yet, I'll post the link in the description box. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. This is Jesse. This is an indie making. And I'll see you guys next time.